what 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 was the message that they were trying to send? In other words, you, you know, you can uh, picking up on what you were just saying, you could sort of interpret it as they were saying crisis over, you know, things are doing well so we can afford this uh, rate cut or is it uh, crisis ahead? Uh, we've got uh, a troubling unemployment yeah. Uh, situation. Yeah, I, so that that's that's a great question, uh, Bob. It's um, not um, I. The message was not crisis ahead, right? The the, the message I think was firmly uh, inflation is um, still uh, a bit elevated, um, but you know, in their statement, um, they've gained greater confidence that inflation, although still elevated is moving, uh, you know, the other their words, moving sustainably towards the 2% target interest rate. Um, and, and then the other part of their statement focused on that the risks to achieving uh, both its uh, inflation and employment goals are roughly in balance. Uh, so that's, that's kind of, do they care more about, is, is more, is inflation, think of it this way, is inflation more of a concern or is employment more of a concern? Now they kind of think of those as, as more, Roughly in balance, equally concerning inflation under control, still elevated by coming down uh, the labor markets, uh, you know, in, in much better balance, if not in balance. Um, and then when you look at there, so so given that backdrop, you know, that's where we are um, uh, or where we were last week uh, when they made the decision and presumably where we are today. Um, uh, then their, their, their job, right, their, their responsibility is then to realign monetary policy so it fits the economy. They have monetary policy, right, that, of course, is, is not at all neutral, right? It's still um, uh, constraining, uh, if you will, the, the economy. It's still in a, in a tightening um, uh, uh, um, mode. And so they need to bring that monetary policy through interest rates uh, back uh, to a more neutral position, uh, given that the twin goals of full employment and inflation are, you know, they're, they're maybe haven't been achieved completely, but they're well on their way to achieving those. And you see it in their projections. Uh, you look at uh, their real projections for real GDP growth. Um, yeah, they have those. Um, the, according to their projections, they have the economy, um, you know, growing at around two percent. Um, you know, in 2021 percent in twenty twenty four, and then coming uh, down to um, excuse me, at two point zero percent in twenty twenty four, and then pretty much remaining at that that level. You know, growth was. Faster, uh, I would just mention the growth was above 2% in the beginning of 2024, the first half, probably the first three quarters. You expect to slow down and then a bounce back uh, next year. Uh, but the slowdown probably isn't going to be all that uh, significant, um, uh, perhaps. You know, we'll, we'll wait and see. 